Hi guys. Well, it's kind of a gorgeous Saturday night here in the end times kicking off a little bit smoky. A little bit smoky here on this exciting Saturday night. I believe it might be August 5th or August 6th, 2023. Somewhere in there. So, uh, anyway, I have a full house at the my vacation rental business. So I, I have to hide out with this, uh, <laughs> with this particular rant here, uh, especially I uh, got to come hide out so I am not, um, what's the word, outed by my guest. Uh, so <laughs> I think you know what my rant's going to be about. How many of you have, uh, sent me all the various links to this story. I have probably <laughs> received more requests for comment on obviously people want to hear uh, Hambone Little Tail Doomer review of this story about another influencer. Good fucking God, I am getting so sick of this word influencer. I'm not exactly sure what this latest influencer is influencing people to do. Kind of like Donald Trump, the influencer, I guess. He is influencing people to have a riot. And there are many versions. I mean, this story, obviously, all over the mainstream media, and I'm sure it is burning up social media. So let me add my two cents worth to influencer charged after chaos erupts in New York City's Union Square. Last time I was in Union Square was 1995, where I had a full-fledged panic attack. So anyway, this influencer is some motherfucker, obviously never heard the name, influencer and Twitch streamer. I have no clue what the fuck Twitch is. Twitch. It's what junkies do when they're ODing. Influencer and Twitch streamer Kai, I have no idea how to pronounce this fucker's last name. C E N A T. We're gonna we're gonna call it Sainat. I'm throwing a a dart here. Never heard the name. I don't give a fuck who this fucker is. Some dude. An influencer and a Twitch streamer named Kai Sanat was charged with at least two counts of inciting a riot and unlawful assembly after thousands of people descended on Union Square in New York City Friday afternoon. Um, He's looking at a felony charge of riot in the first degree causing public injury or damage. The crowd of clueless fucking morons was responding to CNAT's promise, and, and, and as far as I can tell, he never kept the promise, uh, of free PlayStations. I think, I remember, was it 300 PlayStations he was promising, sparking a chaotic scene and a massive police response. Once again, I have no fucking clue what a PlayStation is. No clue what a fucking PlayStation is. I have no clue what a fucking Twitch is, and I sure as shit 
have no fucking clue who influencer Kai Sainat is, but I did learn he has 10 million clueless fucking moron followers. So here's a a picture of Kai Sainat uh, being swamped in a sea of uh, a, a, a surprising number of white hands people trying to get a picture of some motherfucker who they can get all the pictures they want to off the internet pretty much trampling each other. Unfortunately, I was disappointed that nobody was trampled to death in a stampede, which would have made this a much better story. The motherfucker, uh, I, I, I mean, you know, he's got a nice enough smile, I guess, but, you know, he, he basically looks like a fucking criminal to me. Well, let, let, let's be honest, he looks like some fucking punk gangster criminal. I'm sure he listens to rap music. Or I'm sorry, hip hop music. Maybe, maybe he, maybe he is a hip hop star. Since I don't know what the fuck Twitch is, I, I have no fucking clue uh, how this guy got 10 million followers. Uh, you know, uh, and and before you guys, you little limp dick lefties, get your the little snowflakes get your panties in a wad uh, because some whitey uh, with a fucking southern accent is saying the motherfucking lo looks like a criminal. Uh, I'm just calling it as I see it, uh, uh, okay? He doesn't look as much like a fucking criminal as Donald Trump looks like a fucking criminal, all right? Uh, Donald Trump looks like a criminal. Joe Biden, well, he looks... He just kind of looks pathetic. Uh, I I I anyway, I love that story. Did you read that story about that judge who's in all kinds of fucking hot water? Uh, I guess the defendant appeared in court and the judge looked at him and said, you look to me like a criminal. <laughs> Hallelujah. If anybody should know when someone looks like a fucking criminal as a fucking judge. <coughs> anyway, I'm getting off track. So um, let's just read the story. And then uh, I'm going to take a drive through the woods. Uh, anyway, a PlayStation. You know, fucking PlayStation. It, it, it sounds like you know, something you find on a kindergarten playground. You know, if I had to identify what is a PlayStation, I would think back when I was in kindergarten and, and, and we had a little jungle gym and the pull-up bars and the little whirly gig thing. It's, a, it, it's somewhere where people with the emotional maturity and the IQ uh, of a fucking four-year-old go to recreate. That is, a, that would be my definition of a PlayStation. Uh, I, I'm assuming it has something to do with video games. I'm, I'm just taking a wild guess. Because what else could uh, incite a riot... Uh, the NYPD made 65 arrests. 30 of those were juveniles. Um, the event was unpermitted and not sanctioned and grew rapidly to thousands of young, clueless fucking morons who police said attacked officers instead of complying with orders to leave. The police chief implored parents to step in. Yeah, right. <laughs> parents. Ugh, God, you know. And, and there were, I, I've heard reports, uh, who, who knows, that there were 1,000 riot police called out. 1,000. 
thousand riot police uh, were put on alert uh, out there to take care of thousands of and thousands of stampeding uh, little fucktards. Uh, you know, I, I don't know whether they were really there thinking that this fucking looks like a criminal, whatever, twitcher, uh, was really going to give them a free PlayStation, or they were just there to see their hero, or just, you know, looking for an excuse to have a riot. Uh, I, I love this police spokesman, whoever, Officer Madry. I had thousands of kids out there. I needed thousands of parents. Yes. When it gets to the point where it's disorderly, we want the parents to come and take control. Oh, yeah, the, the parents, uh, you, you know, the goddamn parents, you know, meaning the single mothers. Let's be uh, perfectly honest here again. You know, the parents are out smoking crack. Uh, do you still smoke crack or what? whatever? They were probably doing that fucking zombie drug somewhere, or they were, you know, following their own fucking influencer. Uh, they, they don't give a fuck uh, where, where their kids are. Uh, they don't even know, they, they don't even know if their fucking kids are in New York. Yeah, we want parents to come and take control. Madry said a 17-year-old was hospitalized from what was initially believed to be a gunshot wound, but it ended up being a fireworks injury. Um, and, I, and I'm already seeing shit uh, on the news where people are claiming that the cops were throwing flash grenades into the crowd uh, of these clueless fucking morons and 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 claiming they were fireworks uh, who, who the fuck knows uh, anymore I wish they would take every fucking riot cop and, and every fucking little juvenile delinquent punk put him in fucking Yankee Stadium and sell fucking tickets I got no fucking use for any of these motherfuckers. I got no more use for a fucking riot cop uh, than I do for one of these fucking little low-grade criminal punks uh, out there rioting. Uh, they deserve each other. So It's a fucking marriage made in heaven. It's a bunch of peas out of the same fucking pod. Throw them in Yankee Stadium and sell fucking tickets. Cop, the cops arrived in droves to try to quell the mayhem which erupted after a post by CNAT went viral around 3 p.m. and the officers soon found themselves under attack, according to the police spokesman. We were crushed. We were pushed, Madri said. The massive crowd caused the park and surrounding streets to become overcrowded. People ran through the streets. Some were seen jumping on cars in a city bus. Some people took objects from a construction site in Union Square, including plywood, shovels, and axes, according to me. Not, not sure what... Uh, these rioters needed plywood for police showed up in riot gear to disperse the crowd. A bus that was holding people in custody was attacked by others trying to pull, you know, their fellow little punk rioters off the police bus. Fireworks set off in the crowd resulted in smoke and noise, but police said they did not use any flash bang devices and no shots were fired.
amazing that they did this. Uh, the cops called the gathering an unlawful assembly and uncontrolled, uh, which is exactly what it was. Um, some officers sustained injuries in the incident. Six people were transported to area hospitals. <coughs> Good fucking God. And I, and I know you've uh, seen the pictures and the videos because th 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 this is uh, fucking viral. I've I'm sure, but uh, anyway, so I'm just, you know, it's just so easy to, uh, you know, looking through the 7,220 comments to um, agree with, you know, all of these old farts like me uh, saying, um, uh, you know that this is just the the, the latest example of uh, how this this fucking younger this new generation of kids, good fucking god, uh, you you thought that uh, we were bad when when we were fucking kids, you know it's this goddamn younger generation, uh, it, it's 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 just. Uh, this all hope is lost. Uh, uh, anybody looking at this shit, you know, it, it, it's like a cross between, I, I don't know, uh, it looked to me like a cross between the January 6th uh, Capitol riots instigated by that criminal who looks like a criminal, Donald Trump, uh, a cross between January 6th and uh, some fucking gang turf war in fucking Haiti. Uh, of course, my, my comment about am I the only one who sees these similarities between these pictures and pictures coming out of Haiti was uh, ripped down by the Yahoo community for being offensive, I guess, to the gangsters in Haiti. Uh, but, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I, I'm just thinking, uh, I mean, talk about a perfect fucking snapshot of, of what it's going to look like uh, in, in, in fucking New York City when um, in, in New York City when uh, the trucks stop delivering food. You know, I mean, this is what it looks like when uh, some fucking clueless fucking moron influencer with 10 million followers is, is giving away some fucking PlayStations. What the fuck do you think it's going to look like? Uh, when, when, when this group of clueless fucking morons uh, gets to the grocery store to steal something and they find there's nothing on the shelves left for them to steal. You know, uh, like what the fuck is that going to look like? Uh, anybody uh, denying the onset of Mad Max, you know, it... I was thinking about, uh, <laughs> you know, reading these stories and looking at these pictures of these fucking little punks. Uh, God damn it, I should have done this rant. You know, there's, there's a juvenile delinquent facility just up the street, although I probably would have been arrested parking outside of it. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at all of this shit. And uh, thinking about when I went and visited James Howard Kunstler at his home, spent the night at, at uh, Kunstler's house. 
You know, he lives outside of Saratoga Springs, New York, which isn't that far from uh, from Manhattan. And uh, I, I was just saying, did you know, with, with, with all of your talk about the collapse of uh, a, a fucking society and everything, I, I, I said, are you sure that Saratoga Springs is is going to be far enough away from the goddamn hordes of, uh, you know, the Mad Max hordes of fucking zombies? And he just laughed and waved me off and, and said, dude, he goes, those motherfuckers are never going to make it across the George Washington Bridge is what uh, Consular said to be. They're never going to make it across the George Washington Bridge uh, after the goddamn trucks uh, don't show up for 72 hours in, in, in New York City. Uh, that it's going to be an absolute fucking bloodbath. That, that, that's going to make anything uh, in, in any dystopian Hollywood movie about the fucking end times, you know, look like the goddamn Brady Bunch uh, in, in comparison. Uh, I mean, just look at these fucking pictures. Uh, look at these goddamn pictures. Look at January 6th. Uh, look at fucking Haiti. Uh, fucking France recently. I mean, who the fuck is still holding on uh, to, to any goddamn clueless fucking moron fantasy uh, that this whole goddamn society uh, and going down the goddamn tubes is fucking cracking up. Now, when I was 17, you know, what was, what was it? When I was 17 were VCRs. I don't even think they had VCRs when I was 17. You know, it'd be like somebody announcing we're giving away 300 VCRs. And you, you would not have seen this. You wouldn't have seen it. Uh, the, the, this, the, the, this entire fucking everything is going down the fucking toilet and, and, and this is the fucking generation uh, that, that is supposed to clean up the goddamn mess uh, that we made of this shit. You know? This is the fucking generation having a fucking riot uh, over a goddamn PlayStation worshipping uh, some, some, some fucker uh, with 10 million followers on, on some goddamn thing called Twitch. How many of those fucking... Uh, how many of those people in that riot, including this, uh, this shining example of humanity, Mr. CNAT, including him, and we're going to throw in the fucking thousand riot police. How many of them could define overshoot? You know, you ask any of them the definition of overshoot and I, I guess it would be the uh, cops firing a, a, a goddamn uh, round of rubber bullets uh, into a crowd and hitting some innocent bystander uh, running for their fucking lives down the fucking sidewalk would be their definition of overshoot. Uh, Jesus. 
you know, this, this entire fucking younger generation for, for every goddamn, uh, for every fucking Greta Thunberg out there, there's 10 million, 10 million clueless fucking moron, uh, little ass wipe, uh, juvenile delinquent wannabes uh, to take her place following uh, the, 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 this fucking dude who looks like a criminal on some fucking shit. Uh, something called Twitch. We're fucked. I mean, uh, this is a just an absolute open and shut. Uh, you can't call it a snapshot into the future. Okay? It's a, it's a snapshot of today. Uh, of what the fucking planet looks like today. The, uh, the only thing left is what this fucking planet, uh, you know, is going to, what it, the hell it's going to look like when the goddamn trucks stop running for three days. It, it, it's going to make this shit uh, that you just saw uh, look like a fucking uh, Sunday walk in the park. the fuck up here I, was, I really I, I'm tempted to go by that that uh, I've shown it before the uh, that juvenile delinquent facility where they uh, you know lock up all of these goddamn little punk gangsters from New York City they bring them up here to uh, right above bugs in a jar they stick these kids out in the woods and I was I, I was talking to one of the guards up there I I uh, somehow met uh, one of the guards up in this uh, you know juvenile delinquent facility and he said and, and he wasn't joking he said uh, how they keep these kids in line up here uh, where I live they said that uh, if you think you're going to escape here we're not the ones you have to worry about that uh, you walk one step uh, off of uh, these prison grounds you clueless fucking little moron and, and there are all of these fucking rednecks up here in these hills put a bullet through your fucking head and uh, <laughs> he assured me that uh, all of the the rednecks uh, will keep those young men in line keep them on the farm uh. <laughs> yep anyway I gotta wrap this up and uh, the sun is going down Hoping this goddamn smoke is gonna blow out of here. It looks to me like it's blowing in. Get out there and uh, blow smoke while you still can. Bye, guys. <laughs>